To make a braai is a man's business. It requires serious skills. All the way from how to put on the charcoal, to choose the charcoal, and know how much to use. And then of course it's the lighting, and how much time you must use from the flames flare up to when you put on the meat. Jono was the team leader, but he was being watched by all the mana, wondering if this team would be up to scratch. The others in the team were Andy and Larry, but they were trying to learn from the master tongsman, Jono. He was the expert. He was the leader. But he gave some responsibility to the second in command, Larry, who was the Buri master. His job was to open the packets with the raw sausages. And then, when he had chosen the right ones, to put them onto the grill. This required a special expertise. You have to put them across the grill, not parallel with the wires. You do not want to risk them falling down into the eternal flames underneath. I think they could use a turn. I think they could use a turn. Yeah, definitely, they can use a turn. They were all agree. So Jono, with an expert twirl of the wrist, turns the sausages just that halfway around, so that they're not all the way around. Isa was an expert. He didn't do as any amateur would do. And then they would continue cooking. The braai was starting to smell good. And Bernie was drawn to the braai like a moth to a flame. And the team adjusted itself with its traditional little shuffle. Everything was going well. The sausages were cooking and sizzling just as they should. And the tong master, Jono, was serving the guests. But then trouble arrived. Luke also smelt the braai and tried to join the team. How is it? Hi. No. They sipped their beers and watched the fork pronger at work, piercing the skins of the sausages like a pure expert. He was number three in the hierarchy. I think they cook better if you didn't poke them. Oh. Hmm? I'll just... Uh, um. He hadn't understood anything about the hierarchy of braying. But then Larry got the ultimate honor. He was handed the tongs and the wannabe became the tong master. Or at least until Jono was back from the toilet. Oh.